As bombs explode in Gaza, Palestinian teenager Farah Baker grabs her smartphone or laptop before ducking for cover to tap out tweets that capture the drama of the turmoil and fear around her. The 16-year-old's prolific posts on Twitter have made her a social media sensation through the month-old conflict. Once a little-known high school athlete, Baker's following on Twitter has jumped from a mere 800 to a whopping 166,000. Living near Gaza City's Shifa Hospital, where her father is a surgeon, provides Baker with a live feed of blaring ambulance sirens in addition to blasts from Israeli airstrikes and shelling attacks. Baker often records these and posts video clips to provide followers with a quick personal glimpse of the war. I'm trying to tell them the truth about what is happening in Gaza because I see that Western media, most of Western media supports Israel and they tell them that Isra Israelis are the victim and Israel is under fire and we started the war in Israel, but I'm trying to tell them that the, occup the occupation, the, occupy, the occupied city can't start the war on the occupiers. And I'm trying to tell them what exactly happens in Gaza to, to make them change their minds and know who's the victim. Baker, whose Twitter profile photo shows a blue-eyed, frightened-looking young woman calling herself Guess What, or at Farah Gazan, said she's surprised at the popularity she's garnered. I'm trying to do something special. I, most of uh, the televisions and radios, it says that uh, how many people died and what, what they bombed and what is happening. I'm trying to, to tell the world what, what I feel and, uh, and what is happening in my area and trying to, to, take, to catch videos of the bombs and the smoke that I see to, to, to do something special and make people feel like they live with me. Baker dreams of becoming a lawyer hoping to use that profession as a means to advocate for a crowded and impoverished Gaza. It isn't always easy to overcome her fears to tweet, but she feels compelled to go on. I most of the time feel unsafe because the, this war is against civilians, so I feel like they can bomb my house at any moment, and especially because I show the truth about what's happening in Gaza to the world, so this can make many people uh, against Israel, so I feel that like they can bomb, but, uh, bomb my house at any moment, but I see that this is the only way I can help Gaza. I mean, showing what is happening here. So I feel I sometimes tweet while I'm crying or too scared, but I, I, I say that I should not stop and try my best to show the world what exactly happens. A month of war has killed 1,910 Palestinians and 67 Israelis, while devastating wide tracts of densely populated Gaza.